<laughs> it's chasing you, dude. Hey everybody, this is Skizzleman along with Roby1 and Impulse. Uh, what we're going to be showing you today is our latest little invention. We're calling it a smart shifting floor. Now the reason we're calling it smart is because what we've done is we've avoided the need uh, to, re to move and shift the entire floor when you're building a mob trap. Typically in the past what you've seen are big giant floors and when there's a need either it's set off by a timer um, or a mob spawns and triggers the whole system, the whole entire floor will shift so that you the mobs will go ahead and fall on through and that's caused lag and then also you, you lose those spawning points just temporarily and whatever those spawning areas um, even if uh, temporarily. So what we've done is we've created a smart shifting floor and what it is is it's a one wide tileable solution which really makes it cool. This right here, Roby1, do me a favor, go ahead and jump in that string there. Pretend Roby1 is a monster and uh, he's going to go ahead and trigger that. And what's going to happen is this floor is going to shift back and forth until the mob drops through. Now, naturally, humans don't drop through as well as mobs. But when the mob is put on there, it's going to go ahead and fall through. And this is going to shift over and over again until it falls through. And then it's going to stop again. So now you're not using up any processing, no more server lag, anything like that. Um, in fact, Impulse, if you'll do me a favor, you want to throw a mob on there for me real quick, buddy? We can, uh, uh, Roby's ready to go. He's got one in his hand. Excellent, excellent. Hook it up. Hook it up. And down it goes. And there she goes. Yeah, do a couple. Take another look at that. That's kind of get an idea. So you can see what's happening is the second that they spawn on the floor, they're tripping it, and it's going to keep going back and forth until they fall through. It's actually pretty cool. So, what I want to do now is let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. Because that's really annoying. Wait, let's just let them cook. Oh. Yeah. Cook my pretty. Yeah, that'll work too. I got so, Impulse, do me a favor. Give the audience a good look at this. And uh, talk them through it a little bit. Sure. So, all we did was we found a design out there uh, for a one wide tileable clock. And so, that's what you're looking at this piece right here. Simply a clock. And we hooked up a tripwire design to it. So here you have your, your tripwire hooked to a block. We actually invert that signal. So basically what happens is when, go ahead, Roby, if you want to just stand in there for me so you can see, this torch will turn off, which is going to um, allow that piston to retract. And then once it does that, it's going to send the signal through the loop. And as that piston comes down, it's going to send that pulse this way. And this is basically just a, a pulse limiter or pulse shortener. Um, and we did that just so that the piston would fire quickly and retract. Um, and on this side, it's all default timing, so we didn't change any timings of these repeaters. But over here, on this side, you can see this one repeater right here in the middle. We added a uh, three tick delay to it. So basically that allows this to uh, be offset on the timing and we'll shift back and forth. And all right. That's pretty much it. Good. So Good explanation. Yeah, it's pretty slick. Pretty slick design. I, I like it. The, the fact that it's uh, tileable and it's one wide and it's it's like a modular system. Uh, it's very nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and have Impulse uh, get comfortable. And uh, we're going to do a little time lapse for you. Roby1 and I are going to go ahead and build this out on both sides. And we'll do a little time lapse so you're not hanging out the whole time. But it's, uh, it's going to illustrate why it being tileable is so helpful. So Impulse, are you comfortable? You like where you're at, buddy? Yeah, it's looking good. All right, now we are uh, little slaves. We're going to go ahead and get to work. Roby, you ready? Yeah, we're going to race on this, right? Well, I know you're going to win, so I didn't want to call it a race. Uh, but uh, what is that? What is that back there? Nothing. Gosh darn it. All right, just go. I was trying to distract <laughs> you. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, we did it. Thanks for sticking around. Sorry half that was me laying string, but uh, that was more difficult than I would have liked it to have been. So here we go. Uh, this is the uh, the small application of it, and I think will be fun. Hey, Robes, throw so, a bunch of mobs on there, buddy. Yeah, let me find some. Hold on a sec. Let's see, let's see the good stuff. Let's see the good times roll. <laughs> yeah, buddy. He's throwing it in the gap. Hey! <laughs> oh. <Cheating. laughs> Can't throw, my arm hurts, dude. Oh. <laughs> Keith's her like a girl. Oh, I'm does. falling in a freaking contraption. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh, that attitude. What are you doing, skellies? Toss them in there, man. <laughs> Throw myself in. There we go, yeah. They don't stand a chance. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, look at that guy. He's going to catch it on fire. Fall! Okay, this guy's a little stubborn. I'm not very happy with him. But look at these. Wee! That's very interesting. Like, uh, 9 out of 10 are falling through, and somehow one of them... He runs fast enough, apparently, yeah. to escape. That's weird. Now, typically, you would cover a lot of this with half slaps so that you're making sure that your floor is the only spawnable space. Um, so that's why they're kind of walking off, too. You, know, you would you'd prevent that from happening with some half slabs and stuff. Right. They would. It would be like a casing. They wouldn't be able to go si uh, the sides, and eventually they'd have no choice but to fall through. And they'd be, uh, they'd be down there, and then we're in business. So now let's go ahead and uh, what do you say we, uh, we show them? the real deal yeah you guys want to see this in action I think we should go see the real thing let's do it all right <laughs> come on all right <laughs> okay here we are uh, this is the real world impulse go ahead and have a look around and uh, show them what we got going on here this is the granddaddy of the smart sifting floors. Shifting floors, rather. And uh, you can imagine the endless possibilities once all these pigmen fall down, fall to their death. And obviously, uh, the model of the smart shifting floor can be applied to any mob trap. And uh, we're hyping on this one. This is a fun one. We like to see all that gold on the ground. But you can see it goes on and on and on. And naturally, uh, in the center here, there's we don't have any of them built because the idea is you'd put your guy right in the center here and nothing can spawn within, uh, I think it's 24, right, Impulse? Yep. So that's that perfect. That's So that would be your, wait, check it out. You guys ready? That would be your radius. <laughs> is that right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm rocking the math. That's your radius, which means your diameter would be 48. And your subcumference would be, was it, I don't know. <laughs> math, <laughs> okay. math is for idiots anyway. The math, I'm done rocking the math. <laughs> Get back up here, Einstein. We got, we got my R squared in there somewhere. Um, so here we are. So, hey, for fun, let's go on down and let's, let's see uh, some of the, the loot that landed. Let's stick together on this. Where are you at? There we go. Yeah, this we're gonna come on and walk through. So naturally, you uh, implement your own collection devices that you that you see fit, and uh, you're rich. You are rich. You're walking around with bling for the rest of your natural born life. Dude, it's raining. These people. It, <laughs> it's dude. Look around, impulse. Oh man. Yeah, in fact, yeah. Are you looking up impulse? Just like, like, hold the camera still and just give the audience a, a view of them just falling through. 
<laughs> oh, right where you were standing. Oh, oh. oh my head even. It's dangerous. Let's see. All right. I don't. Uh, I think we covered it. I hope you guys liked it. It's the smart shifting floor. You saw a single slice. You saw Roby and I build one out. You saw me lay string for what felt like three days, and now you've seen granddaddy of them. So, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you saw, go ahead and uh, jump on. Subscribe. We'll show you some more. Thanks, guys. Uh, run away. Run with me, Roby. Peace. Tag, you're it. <laughs> Look at all these raining dudes.